Charity begins at home. Come back and serve your people. President Tumba appeals with Nigerian doctors abroad to return home. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The president made the call at the unveiling of Nigeria's Health Sector Renewal Investment Initiative at the State House, Abuja, on Tuesday, December 12th. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has pleaded with Nigerian medical practitioners who left foreign countries to seek greener pastures, who left for foreign countries to seek greener pastures to return to Nigeria to contribute their quota to the development of the medical sector. If they come back, I will talk say whether this man carrying it in format. Yes, now you see, make let's say for instance somebody left his job in Nigeria and that is stress, you know, stress the one thousand percent. Work the one thousand percent, no leave, no, they know they see you that they're giving value, and then the money that they're paying you, it they low, and then you now go to somewhere else where they're giving you better and giving you more. Somebody is not telling you to come back, <laughs> just the place, sir. Do this in detail, please. The president made the call at the unveiling of, of Nigeria's health sector renewal investment initiative at the state house Abuja on Tuesday, December 12th. Describing health as a fundamental human right, President Tunubu announced plans for a comprehensive revamp of physical infrastructure and equipment and the retraining of frontline health workers starting in 2024. The president boasted that Nigeria remained a rallying, a, rallying, a, rallying, a rallying point for the best mind in the medical profession, prompting his administration to allocate a substantial sum for the sector in the 2024 budget currently before the National Assembly. He went on to beg Nigerian medical practitioners in the diaspora to return home to serve the people. We encourage those Nigerian health professionals in the diaspora, just like Professor Ali Pate and Tunji Alaus have done, to sacrifice the time to come back home and serve the people. Consider your contributions here at home, as we say, charity begins at home. For the developed countries who benefited from amazing talent of Nigerian health workers, we really, we will really encourage them to consider how to support the expansion of trading facilities in Nigeria to replace those that they have recruited from here. You should also look at the short and long-term opportunities of that we offer. Yes, we have a vibrant, well-educated society, but we need Nigeria to rise on one side with climate change and drop the health system to decay. We will rise well like i said what's in this one carry from out saying carry medicine for you could just come as i can talk to me people come back then go follow you what happens with insecurity is the insecurity now gone first of all what you make them come out what happens to them being valued being seen and being valued you understand are they being seen are they being valued uh -huh. so you can't just come outside and talk something and expect to make them no no it's not possible very possible at all. Don't come back or for your own good. Remain there and end good money and give your families a better life. <laughs> Nigeria is now what is Nigeria is no longer what it used to be. I won't, I was expecting this particular comment, yeah. Savage. <laughs> of course now. To come and suffer with hardship that they are they are not fools. They left as soon as you unleashed your deadly plans against Nigerians. They are still living in hundreds. How dare you insult them by telling them to return? <laughs> you never see anything. How dare you insult them by telling them to return home when they have families to feed? And they are not greedy, deadly politicians like you. We get lost. They'll be back when the Yoruba nation come alive soonest. Talk. Okay. Nonsense. When you turn full price from 184 Naira to 420 Naira up to 700 Naira, did you wish us well? Did you wish us about 300% increase? I beg pack well. Maybe a small pack well. Though. Come back to prison. That is a nonsense call. Does the president take his treatment in Nigeria? God will bless you. This is the call. This is the what I've been waiting for. Does he take his own, uh, what's it called in Nigeria here? I beg you. Hmm? Does he, okay, in Nigeria or his family take their treatment in Nigeria? Please don't come back to prison. The son of the president fly the presidential jet to anywhere he wants. 
that is an annoying call if you come back your minimum wage is thirty thousand and you buy a little four for one thousand he that have ear let him hear talk just I play, which sensible person, any good salary and secure security protection will come back to a country where no law and care for people to come and do what? Yes, you and your family travel abroad for medical checkup and treatment. Why do you think to start it? Charity begins at home. I mean, as soft and Nigerian man says start at home, the enjoyment, the ill is they start them abroad. Zombie governments, zombie members. Oh, my goodness. I tired for this country, honestly. Can you imagine? Charity begins at home. Come back and serve your country. Which country? A country where your value is not recognized. God, please have mercy on us and deliver us from this trauma. I beg, help me ask your president if he gets ordinary malaria fever, where he may run go for treatment. Abroad, Abi. For can you worry yourself? For we know we'll listen to sweet talk again. Now only Momo doctor will come back, come face this, this your lie lie. Fellow Nigerian people, we finally to start work by December with the wait. <laughs> oh my God, I'm see that they quietly they show sheets. So the aspirant Nigerian doctor should return up to serve Nigeria. And when, and then when the useless turn over four six tomorrow, he will jet out of France to go get medical attention, right? Who is he trying to deceive? Oh my dear. Come back from this hellfire. Others are struggling to escape from this shithole. And you are telling the ones that succeeded to come back. God forbid. <laughs> this person even put God forbid for it, person. Honestly, this tunnel is unfortunate too. There is no comparison in the jungle. Uh -huh. Alright, sir. If he says truly, it means that he's a, he's a, he's a wicked of wickedness. Nigerians are suffering country where only 10% is okay while 20% is averagely okay and the remaining 70% are suffering from the abject poverty. Fix the country or else others will be body. So you're one of the wild animals in the zoo. Heron call your colleague. Okay. So you're one of the wild animals in the zoo. You're calling your country's home a zoo. <laughs> if you see what's in there, yeah. All right, Mr. President, there is nothing on ground to convince the aspirants to come back to Nigeria do business. Make this economy, make the economy better. Let it become better. Hmm? All right, well, at the end of the video, me too, I'm not support say make uh, there should be brain drain balls. <laughs> you don't have an end. Wait till we see, wait till we see. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.